In this video, I'm going to show you how we get a circuit equation for this RLC circuit. So what's special about this is now we have two energy storage elements. They're irreducible. There's no way we can combine them into one. And so that leaves us with a situation where we're going to get a second order differential equation. So let's get started. One thing to note is that these elements are all in series, right? They're connected at one node between any two of them. There are no other current carrying connections at each connective node. So they all share the same current. We'll call that the source current IS. We can define a voltage, VC across the capacitor and a VL across the inductor, and then another voltage across the resistor. Because we know the resistance, we can just use Ohm's law and write this as IS times R source current times resistance, then we can write a KCL equation, Kirchhoff's current law. Going clockwise, we have this. Now, noting that we can get VL from the inductor voltage current relationship, we'll write this as a reminder. And another thing we can note about the capacitor is that its current looks like this. Okay, so let's use those. Okay, so we note that the current through the inductor is IS, so instead of using IL, I'll use IS, so here's the inductor voltage. And I've just rearranged things a little bit, not too much. Now we're going to use the capacitor current equation. So Putting that in here, we're going to have IS instead of IC, right? They're the same. They're synonymous. The current flowing through the capacitor is IS. So we'll put here RC dVC dT. And then DI dT, well, that's uh, the derivative of IS, right? So uh, we'll write this again. So the derivative of the source current is the second derivative of the capacitor voltage with respect to time multiplied by C. So now we'll write this as LC. And then rearranging one more time and writing it in a way that we like for second order differential equations, we'll write it like this. Okay, now we have a second order differential equation and since this is the source, right, this could be some function uh, of time, it could be constant, but we think of this as the driving function. And then we have one dynamical variable, that's this VC, and this is called the circuit response. So to solve the circuit, we're now looking to solve the second order differential equation with a driving function, also known as a forcing function. And that is going to be the subject of another video, not this one. But nonetheless, what I'm trying to show you is that this second order differential equation results from this circuit with two energy storage elements. And solving this is a little more involved than solving a first order RL or RC circuit. My mission here was just to show you how for a series RLC circuit, we can derive the second order differential equation. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment. Thanks.